Понял, под моим управлением. Наблюдаю у вас 292 на 90. Hello guys, once again. Today we have a gameplay in War Thunder. Uh, we are going to make that series again of uh, trying to do realistic loadouts in the War Thunder aircraft. So basically we are going to have the FRC today uh, without the gun because apparently nobody uses like that and I love to use like that because these missiles are amazing at this VR. I mean 10.0? Are you kidding me? Jesus. I'm trying to finish the, the research but of course it's fully upgraded if you don't use any other secondary weapons besides the missiles. So let's get into it and let's try to have fun. Make sure to subscribe and click click the like button. So let's go boys, uh, full tank and just the M9Es and the M9, M7D. So the FRC was uh, used in the early 60s and it was used widely in Vietnam. Uh, to as a fighter and of course as a fighter bomber a bomber you know uh, but we are not going to use as a bomber as normally American players like to do uh, we're going to climb and do the interceptor roll without the cannon so let's go so of course the A9E if I'm not mistaken actually entered service in 1968 uh, so there were a couple of years a, a, a good amount of years that the F FRC actually used the M9B but we're going to use the M9E of course and the M7D uh, not the greatest sparrow ever but it's still not bad it just lacks the ability to turn a lot but it has a very good range uh, basically Almost the same range as the M70, affected effectively. So yeah, in War Thunder, we have strike aircraft. What are we facing? Mix Japanese aircraft. But yeah, let's try to find somebody with the radar. I don't know what the fuck is happening. These bugs. This, Jesus. Come on, Gaijin. Come on, it's on the left. <laughs> Come on, where are you guys? There you go. Come on, lock it up. Uh, he's going down. Why, why do people climb to go down? Come on, turn to me, man. Fox 1, Yak 38. Come on, aim 7. You can do it. Yes, splash 1. So, yeah. Pretty good kill. 6 or 7 kilometers range. Let's see if there is anybody flying high. Of course, if you're going to do this, don't fly low with the aircraft. This is supposed to be a, a, a high flying aircraft. I mean, it's basically supposed to be intercepting targets uh, for defending the the aircraft carrier, but but of course this one is the Air Force variant, but still an interceptor basically. We are chasing down one of the, the last guys, the last guy actually. One of the Suhoys. Come on, don't go down. I don't have M9s anymore, so... Come on, mate. Don't go down. Yeah, I'm losing luck. Come on, mate. Yeah, this is the problem with not having the cannon, of course, and not having M9s. <laughs> but uh, I wasted the M9s before, so it was kind of my fault. Come on, fly a little bit higher. A little bit higher. 
Jesus, these Sukhois are just boring, man. They just go for the... I'm trying to actually fly low and try to do this. Fox one. Yes. Splash. So yeah, not as bad as you thought, right? I mean, it's pretty good. I just I wasted the nines before, but I got it with these barrels, so yeah. But yeah, let's go for another one. So here we are, boys. Uh, second battle. Let's go. No cannons. M9Bs, M7Ds. I mean, I found it. It's the best way to fly this aircraft. It's just amazing to fly this aircraft like this. I want to... I mean, I love interceptors, as you all know, probably. <laughs> and aircraft that doesn't have cannons just it's a very nice handicap so let's try I have a lock on something 19 kilometers but it's too far away let's wait near 10 kilometers to fire the missile Fox one Go Sparrow! I believe in you! Let's try to save the other... The others. I think it will hit. Let's see. Probably no. <laughs> Let's try to shoot an aim 9. As I said, it's not the greatest... Fox 2. Let's try to get out of here. Yeah, splash one. As I said, the... Oh, fuck. It's probably uh, a GR1. Fuck, yeah, I'm dead. I mean, this is just BS, man. The GR1 need to be 10.3 or 10.7. This is just... What else you can do against a Harrier GR1? Uh, but yeah, let's get into another battle. So let's go guys, another one, we're closing in on a target, let's see if we don't die for a Harrier GR1, <laughs> let's wait near 10 kilometers to actually shoot, a little bit to the left, to the right. Fox one. Oh, come on, he saw the missile. Going to shoot another, it's Fox 1. I don't think it's going to hit, but... Yeah. It's a Jagu Jaguar. He saw the missile coming. We have another target. 12 o'clock. Fox 1. As I said, the problem with this missile is that it doesn't turn very well, but... Yeah, you saw the missile. He was going for it, but not enough. Let's try to go for the aim 9 kill. It's not as easy as you think, but it's pretty fun to, to fly like this. I love to fly aircraft that doesn't have cannons, so yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a different way to fly an aircraft, right? the missile but yeah he's turning too much of course there's a GR1 trying to f fight us look at it I mean it's always fun to fly against 10 year younger aircraft in your 1962 1964 aircraft <laughs> but yeah not gonna complain too much it's just the BR kind of weird not having a lot of luck today actually <laughs> normally I have a lot of luck with this aircraft it's pretty amazing to fly but let's go for the Votour I think or the Jaguar maybe the Jaguar I'm going to fire one missile Fox 2 there oh yeah splash one 
let's try to get the bomber. He's turning too much and I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my time. Yes. There we go. Fox you. Uh, missed. Come on, stay still, man. Come on, stay still. I am going to kill you. I uh, should have waited. What else you're going to do, mate? Yes, I'm going to get out of here. There's an F5 coming nearby. As you see, it's kind of difficult, but it's fun. <laughs> it's really fun. He crashed. Oh, it's the AA. Yeah, the anti-air is kind of kind of weird sometimes. Come on. Oh, not enough time. All right, it's the the F5, the MiG-17. So we have kind of a, a Vietnam era style. <laughs> Dogfight here, a MiG 17F against an F4C. He doesn't have the power that I have, but still have missiles, so I have to be careful. Pretty shitty ones, but I'm going to try to make a loop or something, make him stall. Jesus, the, the MiG-17 has a amazing thrust to it. I have an even better one, look at it. <laughs> yeah, maybe the F5 could help me, but apparently he's not. We are going to lose this one, I think. Let's try to, to get him. Come on, nah, he's turning to me, not very helpful. I mean, the higher that I fly, the easier it will be to get this, this, this MiG-17, but yeah, he turned away. Yeah, the main problem with this aircraft I mean, it's not a problem, the VR is amazing, but uh, the, the thing that you have to have in mind is that the Raider has a huge amount of ground clutter, so you have to fly high because of the sparrows. It's just the way it is, right? Oh, come on, climb! No, I'm not gonna raid fight you, mate. This Sukhoi is coming. But without the cannon, you are much lighter and you're, it's way easier to dogfight. It's just that you don't have a lot of... Uh, come on, you're gonna crash into me. Yeah, go for the, the F5, I'm going to loop it out. Watch out, F5. Don't die, please. If you die, I'm dead. I feel like a, an American pilot in Vietnam War. I just don't have the cannon to to fight them. Oh come on, he's too close for to our to our friendly. Fox two. Splash one. We have one sparrow. I don't know if he's going to he was going to actually uh, try to kill I mean he was trying to kill him. Oh come on mate. Yeah, well. Now we have a problem. <laughs> we are alone and with one sparrow and not a lot of fuel. I'm going to properly I'm going to try to land. Get some more fuel, some more ammo. It's going to be really hard to kill three people, but especially the one is uh, a harrier. But let's try. Be right back. Yeah. There's the there's the Harrier. Oh come on Raider. Stop blocking other people. 
But yeah, that's the Harrier. I mean, he's firing all all of its all all of its missiles on the the bots. So let's lower our altitude a little bit. Come on, Fox one. Yeah, splash one. We need to fight the other one now. Don't scare me, Jesus. <laughs> These fucking AI are always behind me or something. They're in the map. So there's probably an Sukhoi 7 or something there. I don't have any orders to make sure. But, yeah, we'll have to find him. Oh, there you go. I see him. And he's flying high, actually. Which will help me. Oh, come on, Raider. Try an A9 <laughs> because the radar just didn't want to work. Fuck you. Splash one. Let's go, guys. <laughs> yeah, we won. As you see, I mean, it's as much capable with the gun and without the gun. I mean, I prefer not using the gun just because you're lighter and the missiles are always so much more fun to kill somebody than the gun but yeah <laughs> yeah let's let's commemorate that that was a great match great match guys so yeah guys this was it uh, I hope you enjoyed I mean the first couple of matches were not that good but the last one was pretty amazing uh, almost an ace without the gun so as you see you don't need to use the gun to actually get kills uh, I mean, I would advise you guys, try it out, the missiles, try to use the missiles, try even with the gun. Just, please stop using bombs with the FRC. It's such an amazing aircraft at 10.0. It's one of the best, if not the best, 10.0 to 10.3 plane. Because you have four pretty good missiles uh, to this BR. Uh, IR missiles, I mean. And you have four sparrows that are not the greatest sparrow ever, but it's still very good sparrow. It's a very good missile. It's compared to the old sparrow before the buff, uh, uh, the AIM-7E. So, yeah, it's p pretty good. Pretty good missile. Uh, as you saw, I killed, uh, I mean, I think three people or four people with the, the sparrow, uh, and a lot of people with the AIM-9s as well, but a lot of people with the sparrow. So, the problem you have is the radar, so you have to learn how to use the radar. And if you have problems with that, check my video. Uh, I have a video on how to use radars and stuff. So yeah, keep an eye out. I'm going to make a video, uh, a review on the MiG-23, uh, how to use it in battles and stuff. Uh, but yeah, see you guys on the next one. Please subscribe and bye.